This is a video for how to create the crankshaft for the Automata project out of the PLTW Automata box kit. Um, you're going to notice that I've just laid a digital dial caliper and gotten the diameter of this object. Um, the diameter of the, crank, the, the crankshaft rods that you get in your box kit will be one eighth of an inch in diameter. So you can see I have 0.123. Um, it's going to be one eighth of an inch diameter. And our length that we're just going to use is going to be six. You can change that however you wish. We're just going to use a, a nominal length of six. We can shorten that or lengthen that based upon the project that you choose to do. So we are going to go back to Inventor. Once again, we are in our Automata project file and we are going to go to File and we're going to go to New and we're going to go to Standard IPT and we're going to say Create. And if we're still using primitives, we've used box to create the top, bottom, side, and back pieces. But we can go down to this thing that says cylinder. And we're going to click on cylinder, and we're going to click on X, Y plane. And I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag out. And you're going to notice that I'm in radius. If you see that dotted line, that only goes from the origin to one of the outside edges. I want to right click and go down to diameter. And now I have that dotted line going from one point on the circle through the origin to the opposite side of the circle. So notice as I'm dragging out, it's going to give me a diameter as I drag. What I can do is I can just type in 0.125 and hit enter. And then automatically it goes to extrude. And I'm going to hit 6 and I'm going to hit enter. I click on my house and automatically we have an example of the crankshaft for the automata box. It's literally that easy to use cylinder. We could have gone to 2D sketch. We could have drawn a circle and dimensioned that and then hit finish sketch and then click on extrude and done that. But the primitives take away one or two steps and make everything easy. Reminder about primitives. These are just the basic forms that we see in society. Automatically just use those. It's great for using massing or anything like that. But if you're going to do just the basic shapes, primitives make everything so quick. So we're going to go to File, we're going to go to Save, and we're going to call this Crankshaft. And hit Save. And you've saved and created your Crankshaft. It was that fast and that simple. Have a great day.